tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7 to do something different. We're here to compare a set of Corsa on the Xbox One to Forza Motorsport 7. So I decided to come to the Nuremberg Ring and uh, give it a shot. We did run the Nuremberg Ring in a set of Corsa with this Nissan GTR. So we're going to get the same car and run the same track here in Forza Motorsport 7 gonna split screen this for you a little bit so you guys can see both we're gonna give them a compare i want to hear the engine says i actually haven't driven a gtr in the cockpit in forza 7 yet because i know the sounds in aceto are amazing and they sound awesome so we're also going to see you know the difference in grip characteristics driving characteristics speed you know and all that such we're, so we're here today to compare a set of corsa to forza motorsports 7 so let's just get into this and uh rip this gtr around nuremberg all right so we are here in nuremberg ring or Nordschleife, and we are in the gtr start race i think we are going to be on a rolling start probably i gotta fly in my office it's starting to tick me off so hopefully we go straight to cockpit view there we go so we are here on full 900 degrees of rotation so, first impression of the sounds. Assetto does sound a lot better when it comes to the GTR, but the handling, I feel, is a little bit. Handling is kind of the same. Ooh. I'll lose it. Did take me a lab or two to get a halfway decent run in Assetto. So, this is first lap out in a GTR rental car. And. I am kind of a little disappointed that we don't have the boost gauge on the left in the center console like we do in Assetto. But overall, the game, they feel very similar, but very different at the same time. Uh, the feedback is a little bit tighter, I believe, but it probably is my settings. It's a little bit tighter here in Forza Motorsport 7. And of course, we don't have the full wheel rotation in this game like we do a set of Corsa. And shifter issues are definitely not my friend right now. Definitely going to need to get a new shifter here because this one is pretty much taking a back seat to work, eh? That was nice. So, the car feels a lot more stable, I guess, here in Forza 7 than it does Assetto. And Assetto has factory traction control and all that stuff on. And the car seems a little bit... Actually, it doesn't seem a little bit. Oh, we're going to miss that turn. Ugh! Uh, we're going to keep it going, though. This car seems a lot faster here in 7 than it does in Assetto. Seems like the acceleration seems a little bit quicker, but like I said, this, uh, this is just a comparison between the two. Both games are incredible in their own. A set of Corsa is amazing because I think I give the uh, sound effects, the car sounds, to a Seto for sure, because you know this GTR sounds so much nicer on a Seto, but it doesn't sound bad here either. There's just more audible pops and cracks and stuff like that in the set of course, I believe. We're not doing too bad. We're uh, on a pretty good run. Ooh. Oh, catch that. Hard on the brakes. Gets a little tail happy. We have no assists on. Now, I did, you did, if you didn't notice when I went off track, the little rewind I clicked on. The only reason I had that turned on is because I was doing that endurance race recently and I didn't want to be running, you know, for 50 some minutes and then uh, make a slight mishap and have to redo the entire 
59 minutes worth of racing so that's why that rewind is on i don't normally use it i actually didn't have to use it when i did that endurance race so you know i'm happy about that I feel like the car has a little bit more grip here in 7 than it does in a center though. And I feel like the speeds are a little bit higher. I, which is weird because it is, I, you know, supposed to be the same cars. But then again, you know, each game has a little bit of differences. We just throttle a lift over there. That's awesome. Got that speedometer pegs going to 5th. Not much acceleration in fifth gear, though. Now, this car would be definitely be fun if it was modified. Down to third. Probably could have stayed in fourth. Not doing too bad. I'm surprised because this is the first lap out here, actually, on Nuremberg, period, here in Forza Motorsport 7. So, if you guys want to see more of these comparison style videos with a set of Corsa, you know, Forza Motorsport 7, maybe Project Cars 2. Maybe I'll get in some GT3 cars and, you know, compare Project Cars 2 to here, which is probably not a comparison by any means because Project Cars 2 is designed for, like, the ultimate sim, you know, simulation racing. Like, I feel like Force 7's done a very good job, but I don't think... And we cracked our windshield. We just broke the windshield of our rental GTR. They are not going to be happy when we give this back. I'm going to have to be paying for this. I'll probably end up having to buy this car. Depending how uh, how nice the uh, rental agent is when I return this car here at the Nuremberg rental facility, which I don't think you can actually rent a GTR at the Nuremberg. Maybe you can. I don't know. Never been there. Definitely want to go there. This is definitely an amazing track to drive. Still wish I knew this track by the back of my hand. With the amount of times I've driven this in other games, you know, I should think I should know these turns by now. But we're uh hauling we're hauling you know some ass here part of my language but we're definitely hauling nope stay on track we're good Ooh, i literally think i went off there when i was running the assetto assetto lap too so graphics wise graphics wise are pretty pretty close uh i think the uh forza 7 is a little more crisper but like I said, I am disappointed we don't have the display open on the left HUD with the boost gauge and everything like in a Seto. That'd be pretty sweet if they actually had it in here. But, you know, I guess with the uh, amount of cars that are in 7, they can't do all the details like that. With the limited amount of cars in uh, a Seto Corsa, I guess, you know, they have, you know, more details involved in that game. I literally think we did the same thing on the Seto. We cut that. I, I, I'm noticing a lot of the same uh, things I did when I was running the Aceto lap as I am doing here on Forza 7. We are making good time. Not a record breaking time by any means, but good time nonetheless with only one little little hiccup not bad for a first run here on Nuremberg ring with this GTR as I say that we start getting tail happy don't lose it now see the test of speed here my rear view mirror is just bouncing why is my rear view mirror bouncing And the speed is just climbing. I think the speeds are a little bit faster here in motorsports than Assetto. But we're topping out at like 154. I think I'm going to keep a running total of these cars and see, you know, of lap times here at the Nuremberg and have a running total of cars that have run at Nuremberg. This 
because Nurburg is a fun track to run. It's got a lot of cool parts of the track. So stock Nissan GTR R34. We're gonna clock in with a minute or eight minutes and 42 seconds. Not a bad run. Not a bad run here at the Nuremberg ring for this car. Gonna cool it down here a second. And I think we're going to possibly grab maybe, I wonder what race car, if we have any GTR race cars. So we're gonna switch our car up here and see, you know, get another lap run here at Nuremberg. Select car, what do we got? Rent car. Kinda wanna stick to the Nissan group. What do we got in Nissan? We got an Altima race car. Another Altima. We got the R35, 2017, we could run that. Or we could run the GTR race car. Uh, I think we're gonna run. We're gonna run the R35. Let's just rip the R35 around. 2017 Nissan GTR. Orange, of course. We're gonna rip it and see what time we can get here. We got eight minutes and 40 seconds with the R34. Ooh, it's an American one. It's on the right, left side. All right, here we go. Let's see what type. Oh, we got a boost gauge in this one. That makes me happy. Ooh. We have the boost gauge in this car, but not the other one. Ooh. Definitely a lot more power in this car. The brakes are there, though. It is weird. I'm using a shifter and he's using his hands, but, you know. I don't have paddles behind my wheel. You know, for personal reasons, I like not having them. Okay, so this car sounds good, a little bit off track. Okay, so we're gonna see, see what the time difference is between this and the R34. I lost my shifter, but I still got it in the gear. We go. Oof. See, there's a couple pops I can hear. I am enjoying first person here in Forza 7. Car doesn't want to go into gear. Now it did. Definitely need to get a new shifter. But I am loving first person here in Forza Motorsport 7 when it comes to drifting and racing. Are we gonna lose it? We're gonna lose it. Don't don't completely lose it. Come on, stay on track, stay on track. Well, somewhat stay on track. So we've rented we've wrecked the R34. Surprised they let me take an R35, but and we've wrecked the R35, kind of. I say kind of, but we actually did. This whole shifter issue is definitely getting on my nerves. Definitely going to have to fix that. I know that's going to hurt. I know everybody's probably be like, oh, if you had paddle shifters, you wouldn't have this issue. We are way off track in this R35. But we're going to see if we can't remedy this run did so much better in the R34 I felt like it gripped better I'm hesitant to get off the clutch when I shift because I'm worried it's not gonna be in gear yeah this car does not have as much grip and oh we bounce up. I thought we were gonna get sucked into the tire barriers I'm not trying to drift I'm trying to do a good lap but apparently I'm not gonna get a that good of a lap here in this car, but I feel like I should be in one of those uh, Nuremberg crash videos, sliding off the track in a GTR. It's not even mine. So eight minutes and 40 seconds for that R34. Oh, understeer. I am running no assist, so. I mean, I feel like this car would have some sort of ABS and would not be having shifter issues like I am, but it's not an excuse. I know. 
I should, probably should have fixed it a long time ago or got a new one, but just keep putting it off, and I think now it's about time to actually get a new one. what that sign is unless it means caution deceptive turn or something I only saw the signs in you know dirt four when there was a little car on the side of the road so we should be able to stay nope I was gonna say stay full throttle but I forgot we're in a much faster car no brake check good I don't seem like it's that much faster though. Although I could be wrong. Okay, it's it's much faster. Oh boy. Hard on the brakes. We're good. We saved it. We're good. I actually don't know if we're gonna beat the R34 time. I think my screw ups my screw ups weren't that bad though. I didn't spin out or anything. I kinda Lost some time, but I don't think I lost enough to... I should definitely beat the R34. If you guys have raced in Nuremberg, let me know down in the comment section down below what your fastest time at Nuremberg is. I'm curious to see what people, what cars you're running and, you know, what times you're getting. I would say if it's a if it's a race car, yeah, you'd probably have a, definitely have a higher time, but, like, if, you, if you're done with a street car and you got a pretty good time on a street car, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'd be interested to see what type of cars people are running here and, you know, what times they're getting. And, uh, maybe I'll try and, uh, beat your time. But let me know what kind of car, if it's modified or whatnot. Or maybe throw the tune up and name it, you know, Nuremberg Race. And, uh, I'll give it a shot. See if I can't beat the time. Ooh. Now we're getting the handle of this car. Now that we're already like, ooh, didn't want to slide that turn, but we did. Now that we're like almost done with the, the, the ring. Keep shifting too short and grinding. I keep pulling it out of gear before I'm fully on the clutch. I gotta change my clutch dead zones. Ooh, back on track, there we go. It's definitely a workout for sure. Definitely going to be doing more of these here at Nuremberg with different cars. Keep a running total of times. First two times we're going to have is from an R34 and R35. And my times are going to be complete crap with that. But we'll keep it. You can hear the gravel getting kicked off the car. This car gets really tail happy under braking. Go. Coming up on the final section here at Nuremberg. We're at seven minutes so far. I feel like we should be able to beat the. 8 minutes 40 seconds that we set with the R34 because we are coming up to the stretch and we're definitely going to have a lot more speed in this R35 we go 6th gear there's a helicopter chasing me saying hey you wrecked our rental car you're going to owe us more money Oh yeah, speeds are definitely higher. There's this little section. Ooh, sketchy. Oh boy. I threw that in the third by mistake. Well, my shifter threw it in the third, not me. So I think we're going to get a very respectable time, even though we completely screwed up. And a GTR R35. 
8 minutes and 14 seconds. So, not a bad time. So, I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. Comparing Assetto Corsa and Motorsport 7. Final impressions on this. Uh, Motorsport 7 definitely has a very amazing feel as well as Assetto. Each game has their own, you know, advantages and disadvantages. But I feel like with the amount of customization in cars in Forza 7, Forza 7 is definitely an amazing game. Now on PC for Assetto Corsa, that's a whole nother game. But like I said, I do love the sounds of the R34 and Assetto. So it's I just wish, you know, the sounds were a little bit better here. But, you know, we have a lot more cars and a lot more customization here in Forza 7. So until next time, guys, you guys are new, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study in my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way.